Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Green. Today is a welcome to the morning announcements. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, 2020, and it's the year of gratitude, and it is an E2 day today. Here's our precept of the day from 365 Days of Wonder, and this is an old Chinese proverb. It says, the man who moves a mountain must start by moving small stones. I always do this when I read those, because they're all good. All right, so make sure you're washing your hands, sneezing and coughing into your sleeve, uh, and, you know, trying not to touch your face, and, you know, social distancing, all that good stuff. All right, just remember that stuff. Okay, parents, this is for you. It's actually for kids, too, but... Uh, just, but mostly for, for parents, um, I want to talk to you about something called child-directed or child-led play. And um, this is something that I think you will find that, that now would be a good time to practice this. For some of you, you have some time with your kids and, um, and some, some don't have as much time with kids, but a lot of, a lot of you do. And um, now would be a good time to start a habit of doing this because this will be something that will actually help your child's mental health. And um, you, you may have heard about something called Primary Project uh, at school, and you may have heard about something called G2 uh, at school that, that we used to have, we don't have anymore. But both of those uh, programs are based on child-led play or child-directed play. And there's great benefit for kids um, using this approach and it's a really simple one, and I want to teach it to you. And, uh, and the thing is, you only have to do it like for five minutes a day, right? Um, but I think that you'll find that you're, uh, it will absolutely benefit your child, but it'll benefit you as well, and it'll make your relationship even stronger than it already is. Now, some of you are already doing this, but I think that it's important to make it um, purposeful or you know, uh, thoughtful and and, uh, and deliberate. Uh, so, so, so I'd like you to figure out a way to work this into your regular schedule, even after we come back to school. And that's when it's going to be most important, actually. So, child-led play. Here's how it works. First, find a child. I think that might be the easiest part of it. Okay, <laughs> you're in your house. Yes, one of your own children. Uh, and then ask that child, "Can I play with you?" And hopefully, that child will not say, "Do you mean may?" I play with you? Yeah, right. No, uh, they'll say, they'll probably say yes. And so if the child says yes, then play with the child. So step one, find a child. Step two, ask the child, can I play with you? Step three, play with the child if the child says yes. And then an important thing to remember while you're doing this, uh, or once you start to play, is that it is called child-led play for a reason. The child leads the play. You say, can I play with you? But from there on, the child takes over. And it's your job to listen and to play along. And if you want rules, listen to the child. The child will tell you the rules. And, and this is hard. It's hard to give up control, parents, but it's really important. And it's really helpful to your child. And if you listen closely, if you're, if you're right there with them while they're playing, uh, and and play along using, you know, following their lead, uh, then I think that you'll find that this is going to be something that's going to improve your already great relationship with your child and will pay dividends in terms of their mental health down the road. So um, repeat those steps daily, like I said, for at least five minutes every day. If you can go longer, like, like uh, when we do primary project and G2, it's a half an hour of play, uh, or, or close to it, depending on the schedule. But, you know, it's, it's a pretty long chunk of time. Um, so, but if, but we only do it once a week, usually. So if you, uh, if you can do it, you know, every day for a few minutes, that's great. If you can get a big chunk of time, all the better. Do it as often as you can. Child-led play. It's the most awesome thing ever, I think, anyway. All right, so, oh, it's time for paw receivers. Let's take a look at our paw receivers. Okay, so once again, this is uh, for kids showing expected behavior at home. And you can write in what those expected behaviors are. Write the child's name and write what they did that, that's awesome and helpful. And I, a lot of kids are stepping up. And, uh, and I appreciate that. And I know parents, you appreciate it very much. And it also gives your child a chance to hear their name on the morning announcements. Yay! All right, so here we go. Uh, to Mr. Green for singing the mashed potato song today. Rachel Case has been hoping you'd play it and today let out a squeal of joy when you did. I want to apologize to all parents for the for the mashed potato song. Hey, by the way, yeah, oh, let's see. Um, I did get a, a text from somebody. I got one from Ross Canan. Hey, Ross says, hey, thank you for keeping up the morning announcements. You're welcome. Uh, and then, oh, Mrs. Bannock says, 
Um, Mr. Green, please tell everyone I said hello, and I can't wait to hear about all the books they've been reading. Woohoo! All right, me too. That's great. So yeah, R. Green with an E at the end at fairport.org, and uh, feel free to 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 uh, send me a little Google Hangout chat. All right, back to paw receivers. Cole Yarbrough has learned how to cook. He's made chicken noodle soup and his very own scrambled eggs for breakfast. He loves following his learning from home schedule and being a big helper around the house. Uh, a second for Mr. Green and the mashed potato sauce today. Today, we had current kindergartner McGregor painting and J.A. Allums, uh, Helena and Elliot painting, who were able to watch and sing along. We all had a good time. Nice to hear that Helena and, uh, and Elliot were, were there. Nice to hear their, their names again. Uh, Abby Grabert washed and dried dishes today and put them away without being asked. This is the best when kids do things without being asked. Uh, she has also consistently worked on her school packet and journaling on her own. Christopher Grabert for working on his math packet with a smile and completed his chores, chore time without being asked. And just another insert here. If you want to write something right now at the bottom of the document, go ahead and do it and I will read it. <clears throat> Sloan Flightman for taking initiative and starting her math practice without being asked to in the morning, and then at lunch, showing great independence and life skills, making tuna for her lunch all by herself. I so appreciate all the independent activities and help she has been giving. Dakota Flightman, for her acts of kindness, she surprised her sister and folded her laundry for her because she hadn't finished it yet and went to bed uh, to read Harry Potter with Dad, and also for helping bring smiles to friends who couldn't celebrate their birthdays. Uh or birthdays with everyone by making cards and homemade presents to drop on their doorstep. Oh, that's very nice. What a, what a thoughtful thing to do. Ross Canan, uh, who, uh, who, who, by the way, piped in. Oh, yeah, no, no new piping ins, but if you want to pipe in, feel free to do that. Let's see. Uh, I just want to acknowledge that I've... Okay, I've read those. Um, so, Ross, what did you do, Ross, uh, for keeping himself very quietly occupied when everyone in the house is on conference calls? A lot of that happening with parents working from home and uh, kids needing to be quiet while they work. Lincoln Schreiner for fixing his own breakfast while also helping mom get things prepared for his brother's breakfast. Ben Schreiner for taking time to teach his younger brother some new math skills. I have some pics of that, and I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Schreiner, I think, sent it to me. They're, they're in this uh, format. I still haven't figured out how to get this format into this format. For some reason, this program will not help me do that. So, uh, so I, I won't be able to show those yet. Uh, Brody, but as soon as I figure that out, I will show them. Brody Palo would like to nominate his teacher, Mrs. Redman, for putting up a video of her read aloud. Thank you. Yay, Mrs. Redman. Uh, Ethan Heisel for being so cooperative all day long on Monday. He eagerly worked on math and ELA assignments played nicely with his brother, showed grit while working his way through a very difficult puzzle, and helped build a new office chair for his mom. Ethan, keep up the good work. Ethan Farrar, for not only getting his work done, but also helping his sister Kate get her pre-K work done, for being helpful all day long and being flexible with his parents' work from home schedule. Work from home schedule. Mom and Dad, love you so much. Maribel Catchai for cleaning up the living room and the family room on her own so she and her siblings would have time to watch a movie together. Yay, family bonding. Chase Mirando offered to read to his younger brother Noah when I had to get on a conference call. Cece not me, but his mom or dad. Cecilia Sorensen from Mrs. Young's class washed the dishes for the first time without being asked. Well done. Matilda and Noah Klepetsky did a great job with learning about food groups on Monday and picking out ingredients for lunch, one from each food group. They are also doing a great they are also doing great with completing their daily tasks to earn screen time. Oh, a lot of parents are doing that. You have to do such and such before you get screen time. That's good. Adelina Waters, oh sorry, missed it. Elliot Cockler spent a long afternoon enjoying the company of his younger sister Violet, as well as learning new chores around the house. Adelina Waters for taking care of her little sister so her mom could do work from home. Also for embracing new ways to learn from home, including online art. She drew an adorable puppy yesterday. I think I saw, was that the Mo Willems thing, uh, a puppy? I saw something about puppy doodles or something like that. Got a video coming up of Adelina uh, playing some hockey. Uh, Charlotte Karras for helping to wash all the dishes in the sink. Uh, 
and for emptying the dishwasher. She has also been rocking her home schoolwork with great job. Oh, uh, great job with those sight words. Leah and Drew Morris used their problem solving skills to solve a problem on their own. We have also been doing a daily circle of gratitude like Mrs. Kachalova does with her class. It helps to remind us how lucky we are. I love that. Gra this is a good time for gratitude. There are a lot of things to be grateful for. And it's at times like these when, um, when we're faced with challenges that, that may bring us down. Thinking about what is good in our lives is a great way to bring joy. And we really need that right now. Uh, let's see. Amelia Davidson for learning how to use Google Classroom. And I see someone writing down there. Uh, and that's great. Uh, Leah, uh, sorry, Amelia Davidson for learning how to use Google Classroom to do her schoolwork. She's doing great. Monroe Hardy did extra math work yesterday in her math workbook, Multiplying Fractions. Way to stick it out and tackle the hard problems. Go Mo. Julia Shaughnessy helped set up a project su suggested by her little sister, Nadia's occupational therapist, Mrs. Robertson. She also did the activity with her and encouraged her the whole time. Devin Gavette did a fantastic job helping his mom walk the dog and play with her. Excuse me. He also did his chores as well as his brother's chores this weekend. He has been such a great helper. Remington Foote for reminding his parents and then taking his yucky tasting medicine with no complaints. Good for you, Remy. Uh, let's see. I've got a couple being written in here right now. So go ahead. You guys are doing great. Uh, Ryan and Leah Grimes for helping out around the house and doing a great job with their schoolwork. And Madeline Letson. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Madeline Letson FaceTimes with her cousins in Florida and she read them stories. Aww. Oh, FaceTimed. Thank you. <laughs> very good. Oh. Oh, and read them stories for bedtime. Oh, very nice. Okay. All right. That's all I've got time for. That's the last one on the list. I'm going to erase all of these. And then we'll start again tomorrow. Boom. And tomorrow is Wednesday. All right. That's how I remember how to spell Wednesday. Wednesday. day. All right, Tuesday. We're back to Tuesday. Okay, uh, I'm going to, every Tuesday, I'm going to go over the meals thing uh, just because, well, um, hello, uh, just because it's important information and uh, this, these uh, meals are available uh, on weekdays in most cases, um, sometimes all through the weekend as well. Um, so, and we have both uh, locations in Fairport and the ones in Rochester. So here you go. If you need meals for anyone between the ages of 3 and 18, you can pick up lunch and the next day's breakfast at no charge at these Fairport locations between the times of 11 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. These are the Fairport times, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Go to the Pines of Parenton at Learning Links. Go to the Fairport Police Department in the rear parking lot. Uh, Alpine Knoll offices, Knollwood Apartments office, and Jefferson Avenue Bus Loop, and Fairport High School Bus Loop. <clears throat> if you come to the JA Bus Loop today, I'll be there. I'll wave to you. I'm directing traffic. And let's see. For our urban-suburban families, here's where and when you can pick up meals. Uh, the following R centers will serve prepackaged breakfast, lunch, and dinner meals. Adams Street at 85 Adams Street, Avenue D at 200 Avenue D, Carter Street at 500 Carter Street, Tyshawn Caldwell at 524 Campbell Street or Campbell Street, Frederick Douglass nine, at 900 South Avenue, Flint Street at 271 Flint Street, David Gant at 700 North Street, Trenton and Pamela Jackson, that's the Clinton Baden R Center at 485 North Clinton Avenue, <clears throat> Thomas Ryan at 530 Webster Avenue, and the following RCSD schools will provide grab-and-go meals between 8 and 2.30 p.m., Monday through Friday, providing pack-and-go breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, East Upper and Lower School at 1801 East Main Street, Dr. Freddie Thomas Campus, 625 Sio Street, the former Jefferson High School, 1 Edgerton Park, James Monroe High School, 164 Alexander Street, John Williams School, uh, number 5, 
at 555 Plymouth Ave. Wilson Foundation Academy at 200 Genesee Street and school number 42 at 3330 Lake Avenue. Dad joke of the day, there's two of them. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Classic. Got that from my niece, <coughs> Jen. And then this one, uh, this typical, typical dad humor. Kids ask, what if the stores close down? Will we have to hunt for our food? And Dad says, I hope not. I don't even know where Doritos live. That is a classic Dad joke. All right, let's take a look at pics and videos. We've got quite a few today. And uh, I just have to show this one more time because I love this. This is from Cole. I'm going to show this every day. J.A. cares. Just want you know, to know that J.A. cares about you. All right, so let's see what we have here. We've got Madeline Letson, who is playing with her Legos there. Really great thing to do, a uh, non-screen activity. And then, we have to go back. Marco Burkhart, because you won't be able to hear me while Marco Burkhart is dancing, but I love this. <laughs> little Michael Jackson. That was awesome. And then, let's see, this is Eloise and Annabelle Barney and the Shriner Boys, uh, you know, having some fun and uh, with a, like a time-lapse kind of thing. Kind of cool. And then I was telling you that Adelina Waters, uh, we have a video of her, and here, here she is playing hockey with her dad. Love the victory yeah that, that was awesome uh, this is very nice this is a uh, couple of Newberg pictures here we've got um, Miriam uh, who uh, unsolicited wrote happy retirement mr. green I feel like I'm halfway there right now just I have my slippers on right now I want everybody to know uh, <laughs> and uh, so so thanks Miriam I appreciate that that's very nice and then this is really cool her sister Leia Oh, I don't know if you I don't know if you could hear that. I think the uh, um, the the volume had been turned down. But that that other picture that I showed you is Leia Newberg's uh, game that she's creating, which is a Star Wars game. And what you saw were stats cards, and I'll show it again. Stats cards for each individual uh, character. Uh, it looks like it looks really cool, and I think like this could be a money maker. So check it out again. All right, and next we're, we're going to have, let's see, this is, um, oh, let's see. Oh, it's Garrett and Ruby uh, who are um, on a little bit of a hike. And I think, well, there's a, another child in the video with them who is telling Garrett to be safe. Okay, now this, uh, yesterday I showed a picture of Natalie who was playing a game. I didn't know what it was. It you know, I said, like, it looks like a, a map of the United States. And so here it is. It's a game called the Scramble States of America game. And um, Mrs. Panera said that she recommends it. It's a really cool, fun game and uh, a great learning tool as well. And you can order it from Amazon. Uh, so she, you know, she recommends it. So there you have that. All right, and then, uh, okay, oh, well, my final picture, or this is a video. Uh, yesterday I mentioned my dog, uh, who is, uh, you know, who lives here with us. And uh, um, people asked if, if they could see, if my dog could be on the morning announcements. Well, I, I do the announcements from my um, 
I do the announcements now from my basement. And uh, the dog does not come down here. He's he's not there yet. He's a puppy, and so we're trying to you know limit the amount of space that he's in, uh, so he stays upstairs right now. Um, but I did take a video this morning of him, so you can see him. His name is Red. That's right. His name is Red Green. And uh, lately, we've uh, come to uh, refer to him, uh, and you must say this in a British accent, Mister Wigglebottom. Mr. Wigglebottom. Now, you won't be able to see his bottom wiggle in this video, but you'll be able to see his nose up close, and also he does a great, you know, puppy head cock. So, watch this. So, there's Red Green. Yay! And he'll be back some other time, I'm sure, too. So, uh, also, I wanted to point out that today is, of course, the second day of Spirit Week. I meant, meant to mention that earlier. Uh, and this is Chalk Your Walk Day. So, this is an opportunity for, uh, and, and probably today will be the best day of the week to do this, because we're supposed to get some rain uh, throughout the rest of the week, I believe, if things are correct. And um, today, it looks like we'll be cloudy, and then the sun will be coming out uh, around 3 a bit. And we have a high temperature of 43 today, whereas... Um, well, no, tomorrow looks like it could be good, too. So if you don't get to it today, then maybe do it tomorrow. But, eh, well, today's the day, so try to do it today if you're going to do Chalk Your Walk. And then remember, what you do is you, you know, draw something really cool in your uh, in your driveway. And then later on today, probably maybe when the sun comes out, like, you know, after lunch or something, uh, take a walk or, or a drive around uh, and, uh, and check out what people have drawn in their driveways. Sounds good. Okay. Time for a song. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine This light, this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. We got the light of freedom. We got the light of freedom. We're gonna let it shine. We got the light of freedom. We're gonna let it shine. We got the light of freedom. We're gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, oh, let it shine. Birthdays. Oh, I don't think I did gratitude today either, did I? All right, let's do birthdays, then we'll do some gratitude. So, let's go with this birthday graphic. Hello. Happy birthday. And today's the 24th. We have four birthdays to announce. Ava Van Harsel is 10 years old today. Happy birthday to Ava. Jace Preston is 10 years old today as well. Happy birthday to Jace. Landon Warner is 6 years old today. Happy birthday, Landon. And Olivia Johnston is seven years old today. Happy birthday, Olivia. Hope you all have a great, happy birthday day. 
And let's take a look at Catch of Rainbows. Uh, once again, oh, wait, Catch of Rainbows. This is, um, a, you know, a great uh, collection of prompts for gratitude. So think about the first time you heard your absolute favorite song, or the first time you ate at your favorite restaurant, or the first time you did anything that was divine. What did that feel like? What specific details can you remember about it? How did it make a difference in your life at the time? When I connect with something, I nod. Yeah. All right, let's see what else we have to do here. Uh, oh yeah. So, so moment of quiet, really. So let's do that. And get yourself in a comfortable position. Close your eyes. Deep breath in and out. And then just breathe normally. If you want to think about that gratitude prompt, you can do that. Or just let your thoughts come and go. And you can open up your eyes. And that is all the announcements for today. Have a great day. Oh, wait, J.A. Kerosene of the Month is actually responsibly. <laughs> um, have a great day. And always remember to work hard, learn a lot, have fun, and be kind. Please stand now for the Pledge to the Flag and wait for me to begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, it's me again. I just noticed that I got a, another, uh, another text from someone or a little shout out. Oh, uh, this is from... Mrs. Yu Haas, who says, Mrs. Bannock, Kaylee has been reading Harry Potter, Toby's story, and all the books in my house. I miss you and the library. Aw, very nice. Okay. All right. Uh, if you have anything that you want to share, oh, and remember, teachers, if you're watching, if you want to make a little video, and remember, videos or pictures um, in this orientation, not this one, so we can get them into the program. That sounds great. Okay, everybody have a great day. And, uh, oh, and if you're coming by for, for lunch today between 11 and 1230, say hi.